Good evening YouTube, Brew by Me, back again. Gonna do another review tonight. Tonight I'm gonna to be doing another beer from uh, the UK. This is uh, from the Thornbridge Brewery. This is their Kipling South Pacific Pale Ale. 5.2% ABV. Best before the first month. Best before 01, 09, 12, whatever that means. So oh, the first month of the 9th of 2012 or the first day of the 9th month of 2012 which I think is more realistic seeing this just came out. So I've already re uh, reviewed the Yapper which was really good. Yapper I guess it's called. So anyways, I'm brewed by me. BBBafla.com My JR Brick Glass. So this is just uh, cellar temperature. I just took it out of the cellar. So, let's open her up. Oh, smokage. Mmm, smells good. Let's give her a pour. Not so aggressive, not so aggressive. Lots of carbonation. I don't know if you guys can see that in there. The carbonation. Uh, very pale yellow in color. The three fingers ahead. The head is kind of small to medium bubbles. Very, very frothy. Let's give her a smell. Oh. You can smell the hops right off the top. Hmm. Thornbridge Brewery is a collaboration of innovation, passion, and knowledge. Our brewers come with a variety of experience but all share the same desire to make great beers using the flavors of the land. Their aim is to put the air art back into the science they were taught. Brewing has forever pushed the boundaries of technology. We found a way to use it to harness our passion for great flavored beer. This means no pasteurization or filtration. Uh, no steal, stealing of delicate flavor and aroma molecules this craft beer as it should be a complex combination of all that makes great beer. Uh, Kipling is a golden beer made exclusively with flavors. Ooh, Nelson's Sauvé so Hop that imparts tropical fruit like flavor. Thornbridge were the first UK brewery to use this hop. This beer's initial sweetness and medium body are balanced by a lasting bitter finish. Now the, co the cool thing about those Nelson Sauvé hops, they're actually from New Zealand. Um, and they're very, very, very uh, popular these days. And uh, I guess part of that reason is uh, they do have a nice tropical fruit characteristics. And they also have a nice, uh, um, uh, I believe it's uh, uh, white grape. Uh, characteristics. So that's going to be kind of cool. I actually have some Nelson Sauvé hops um, that I'm going to be doing a pale ale with, so it might be similar to this one. Who knows? Um, anyways, yeah, there's a right off the nose, there's a nice, nice uh, hoppy character there of tropical fruit and white grapes, a little bit of like apricot and mango. Very, very slight, like a tropical fruit to actually even, you know what else is even in there is pineapple. Yeah. So it's like a nice smelling tropical bouquet of goodness. Um, I'm so excited that these guys are actually, the LCBO is actually bringing these beers in. Excuse my hands, they're full of paint. I just finished painting one of the rooms. Anyways, so uh, enough chatting here and uh, Keep, let's keep smelling her. So, yeah, nice tropical bouquet, like I said. There's a nice malt presence there. Very fresh and clean smelling. There's a slight crispness there. Anyways, let's give her a taste, see what she tastes like. bad it's really good mm -hmm. all right so take a swig of it 
and right off the bat you get the nice malt character as it goes back there's a nice carbonation it's not high carbonation even though it looks like it's high it's not it's a light bodied beer um, with lots of with lots of flavors okay I'll be up in a minute with lots of flavors um, right off the bat Right off the bat, you get that nice white grape. Mm. Dad. I said wait! Nice um, tropical flavors are coming out as well. Excuse the yelling. My son's yelling at me saying something's done, and I'm telling him I'll be up there in a minute. Um, and so yeah, in the in the flavor, I'm really getting like some pineapple and some um, mango and, and 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 apricot. Very very faint mango and apricot. More pineapple. Mm. Yeah, it's a very tasty beer. Those Nelson Sauve hops are are awesome. Um, Way to go, guys, at Thornbridge Brewery for picking those up. And congratulations for being the first brewery out there to use them in your beer. It's uh, It worked out really well. A very, very easy drinking beer. Uh, very light, very refreshing, very crisp. Lots of character there. Like. I'm not saying it's like complex but you get you pick out the malt you can pick out the hops you can pick out the tropical fruits the light grapes you know you can pick up all those flavors which is really cool and this is about we'll say uh, 10 to 14 degrees because that's the temperature of the uh, of the uh, beer cellar so anyways so if you guys can find this Kipling uh, Pacific uh, South Pacific Pale Ale give it a whirl because uh, you won't be disappointed it's very refreshing very easy uh, drinking it's a fairly sessionable beer I can sit back and pound about six of these back no problem um, very very tasty um, I like it now I just hope that we can get more uh, uh, UK beers over here, or Scottish beers, or any of that. Supposedly, uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, here in Ontario, our our beer and liquor is controlled by the government, really, and uh, the LCBO uh, allows companies to bring it in, but uh, either it has to be a distributor or um, the actual brewer themselves have to bring their beer forth to the panel of the LCBO. They have to taste it and approve it. And once they approve it, if you can sell uh, them a, a large amount of it, they'll buy it. If you can't, then they won't buy it. That's just how they work. And the beer store is Macrosville, so you can hardly ever find any good beers in there. There is a couple uh, decent, not bad beers in there, but our beers are fairly overpriced too but anyways the point of the story is is the craft beer industry is actually up by I think it's 30 or 40 percent over the last few years so uh, you know craft brewers are doing a really good job at making beers and the LCBO is you know loosening up a bit and letting more craft brewers come in so anyways guys cheers 17 uh, if you guys can find this beer in uh, your area, give it a whirl because man, it's good. No complaints whatsoever. Very, very tasty. Nice bottle, too. 500 milliliters. Nice, it holds in your hand nice. Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, leave any suggestions or ideas in the comments box, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Bye.